Hey everyone and welcome back. Time for another video. Uh, today what we're looking at is a January 1934 issue of Family Circle Magazine. And uh, I think this is pretty interesting. I think you're all probably familiar with Family Circle. So now you actually get a chance to look at a copy of it from a long time ago. In fact, this is only its second year of, uh, of being a magazine. I just want to give you a little bit of background about Family Circle. Uh, it began in 1932. And uh, notice that it's kind of thin and flimsy compared to how it is now. That's because it was uh, distributed in grocery stores like Piggly Wiggly and Safeway. It wasn't uh, on a newsstand like a lot of other magazines were. Um, in 1971, it was uh, acquired by the New York Times and bought for their women's editions. And uh, it became one of the uh, so-called Seven Sisters of magazines, which also includes Ladies Home Journal, McCall's, Good Housekeeping, Better Homes and Gardens, Women's Day, and Red Book. So, so anyway, uh, this is Family Circle in its infant stages. So uh, I think uh, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the cover. We got Walter Winchell, uh, Kathleen and Charles Norris, and of course my favorite actress of all time, Clara Bow. Um, and uh, the picture of Clara here makes me a little bit sad because uh, 1934 was really kind of the uh, beginning of the end for her career. And although she was still quite beautiful in this picture, you could see that her looks were kind of fading a little bit from her heyday. Um, and I think that a lot of that had to do with uh, a lot of the unfair criticism she was getting and a lot of the rumors that were flying about around about her. And also when talkies came out, how her voice didn't translate so well from the silent screen. I also want you to notice something else right here. Um, this logo that says NRA. Uh, if you remember from my grandma's scrapbook review, I found an ice cream wrapper that had the same NRA logo on it, and I incorrectly assumed that that stood for National Rifle Association. Actually, um, this stands for National Recovery Administration, which was one of President Roosevelt's alphabet suit programs, and it was to promote... Um, uh, minimum wage and to create codes of fair competition and um, in fact if businesses and items didn't stamp the NRA logo on them a lot of times they were boycotted so it was uh, it was good business to have this logo anyway that explains that so let's go ahead and uh, open this up now this issue is pretty delicate this is the original one so I'm gonna be a little bit careful with it on the first page we have an ad for brown derby beer and um, of course prohibition had it was repealed the year before so we got proudly proclaiming over five and a half percent alcohol content by volume uh the reason that's emphasized is because during prohibition in a lot of cases near beer was actually permitted and people were so burned out on drinking near beer that they wanted to make sure they had something that had some kick to it okay on the first page uh we have baseball's biggest shakeup and a new Inside Story by Bucky Harris. It's just it's kind of interesting for a women's magazine to be talking about sports and the Red Sox. Um, Harry Evans is the editor. He was the first editor of Family Circle. Okay. The next um, is a nice article about mothers and by Wallace Irvin. And it has uh, some of this really great art here. Um, let's see. Here we have Dressing Up the Kitchen. Sew Your Own Way to Lovely Frocks. Okay. I'm really, um, instead of reading, I'm just trying to um, let you take a look at this really awesome art. And, and like the other magazines, uh, I promise to do a, a good slow flip through coming up. This is pretty interesting here. Um, it's min it's uh, recipes, but here we have the peanut butter and relish sandwich, <laughs> which I think is pretty funny because, um, at least in the United States, peanut butter and jelly is the standard, and uh, I've never heard of a peanut butter and relish sandwich. Some other things to point out, look how the bread is not sliced. Um, uh, this is before... Um, you could buy sliced bread on a, on a wide scale. Have you ever heard that expression, the greatest thing since sliced bread? <laughs> okay. Um, and some of the uh, menu ideas, I'm just going to read off real quick. 
um, for Monday, shepherd's pie. Not often, not a very common thing in America anymore. Um, and cabbage and apple salad. Uh, boiled pork hocks and sauerkraut. Um, orange onion salad. Pineapple tapioca. Um, french fries, sautéed pineapple, peas and carrots, uh, cream chip beef on baked potatoes, buttered boiled cabbage, pickled beets, baked halibut, wow. And, uh, here's a recipe for golden strips, peanut butter bread, calico fudge. If any of y'all are interested in any of these recipes, just kind of let me know. I don't know about Walter Winchell. Okay. Now here's food for thought, which is like a little um, factoid section, um, and it has like little comment. It has a like a little drawings with uh, it, with little interesting snippets of information on them. Our neighbor's nonsense. Here are some quotes like "One man's meat is another man's croquette." <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Some of these jokes are so dated. If you insist on a happy ending, the story of Charles and Kathleen Norris. That was on the cover. Uh, will your gelatin make a pie? Knox is the real gelatin. And here's uh, the, the uh, Clara Bow article right here. Uh, it is about Hoopla, which was her last hurrah. Uh, and it was a talkie. Um, and uh, this was the last major movie that she made. Uh, she sort of kind of became obscure after, after the 30s. But anyway, I have a whole Clarabo video coming up, which I hope you enjoy and watch, where um, I want to dispel a lot of the bad rumors that were said about her, and I uh, just want to maybe make people kind of re-appreciate her work. Maximum Milk. Okay, the the junior. This is the kids section of the family circle, and remember, this was uh, distributed at, at uh, grocery stores, so they were probably targeting the whole family. Hence, the family circle. But it wasn't clearly a women's magazine like it is now. And you have puzzles and games. Which I think is really cool. A secret code section. You know, um, find the differences in the pictures. Here's advice to school teachers. More of that baseball article. Um, Airway coffee. Alright. And that's it. Page 23. And we're done. This week's six $5 prize winners is on the back, and uh, and it says $45 in prizes every week. So um, it was a quick, this was a, a, a quick flip through. I hope you enjoyed it, but uh, you got a chance to see a family circle from a long time ago. And um, one more shot of, of beautiful Clara here. And um, so anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, I'm going to try to to do a little bit more today and uh, until next time goodbye